it looks like the days of Apocalypse and the Horsemen dominating arena are finally coming into an end because we have all the information on the next legendary character, Black Cat, coming to Marvel Strike Force along with the rest of the secret defenders looking to dominate arena. And in this video, we have the kit reveal for Black Cat and the rest of the juicy info from all the newest data mines. And if you're ready for that, Valley Club, you know what to do, find that like button and let's go smash it. Valley Club. Hello, hello, hello. What is up, Valley Maniacs? Welcome back to the Valley Flying channel. I'm Valley Flying. Hope you're having a great day. In this video, we're talking all about the newest arena meta team coming, the Secret Defenders, the next legendary, the kit for Black Cat, which is the next legendary. How much is she going to dominate the arena team? How much is she going to dominate other game modes in Marvel Strike Force? We got that info on the way, and we got a lot of juicy data mines confirming Sylvie. Sylvie looks to be the next month long milestone character. We got to info on the rest of these secret defenders. So let's get right into the blog post. Ladies and gentlemen, meow. That's a legend. This was the blog post that we were expecting tomorrow, actually last week, but it is here now with a kit for black cat. We're going to reveal this. Now what it says here, they will be the Kings and secret defenders will be the Kings of the arena jungle. When the team is fully formed and joining Black Cat on this team is going to be Photon, aka Spectrum, Monica Rambo, Miss Marvel, the Hardlight version, Ghost Rider, Robbie Reyes, Doctor Strange, also getting upgraded. And we saw the it, the reworks to the A Fours, Captain Marvel, Nico, Spider Woman, and Jessica Jones. There. All right. So your first shot to recruit Black Cat. We are upcoming Trials event, which is like these Scourge events that we've had, and you're going to need nowhere. At least uh, to get difficulty five, you're going to need nowhere, including Nova to unlock Black Cat and or Sinister Six characters. They're, they're not very good right now. Swarm did get a rework. Doc Ock has a cool new costume, but the others, I don't think they're worth it. So build up that nowhere for this event because Black Cat looks to be very, very powerful with some awaken abilities as well. So what it says, she specializes in pilfering positive effects and speed bar from enemies then ripping them to shreds with a razor sharp attacks that dig into her for more piercing damage. She also has these awakened abilities that we mentioned here. So her traits, villain, city, skill, brawler, spider verse, secret defender, and legendary. So I think this is a great dark dimension six character uh, because it's not a horseman and uh, it's gonna dominate the earlier sections in dark dimension six. So the basic here, stealth slice, attacking the primary target, 320% damage, applying slow and two bleeds, you're also going to reduce the speed bar of the primary target by 5% and filling the speed bar on this character by 5%, a net 10% uh, change there. If this character has 30% or less health, gain stealth, so protecting herself, I like that. Gaining a charge and enemies killed by this attack cannot be revived, so yeah, it's kind of a more of a counter to Dormammu. Anybody placing on Dormammu on arena defense is uh, not going to be very happy because this basic is going to kill them, not going to be revived. On arena offense... This attack ignores defense up. So I don't like with the rest of these arena teams. The offense is more important. Defense, nothing really holds, but you want your offense to be very, very strong here. Ice basic uh, and counter assist chance. It looks very similar. Different damage numbers. Instead of 320 piercing, you have 228 piercing. You're still applying those slows, those bleeds. You're still reducing the speed bar and gaining speed bar. You're gaining stealth and uh, you're still ignoring defense up on arena offense and you still cannot be revived if you're killed by this attack. A special five out of five cooldown for Black Cat. Bad luck for you. Attacking the primary target, 300% piercing due to the following effects to the primary target. And there's a lot of them, guys. This is this is a very overpowered move. Blind trauma, bleed, disrupted, and stun. Copy and clearing three positive effects except for taunt on the primary target to self reducing the speed bar by 10% and clearing a charge. My goodness, this is a very powerful special. Rebound chain to four adjacent targets, 300% piercing. Apply bleed, clear one charge on each target. So not just the primary target, adjacent targets as well. Filling speed bar by 10% for this character, applying two charge to self and all secret defender allies. And it can chain to stealth targets and it cannot be blocked or counterattack. This could be the most powerful special in the game after she is released. All right, the ultimate, also very powerful. And energy costs five out of seven, so not available on turn one. Ill Gotten's Gains is the name of it. Do the following actions to the primary target. You're going to clear immunity, transfer all negative effects and vulnerable from self. I'm not sure how many uh, the negative effects she's going to be having 
utter, but you're going to transfer it to the primary target. Copy and clear charts and all positive effects, excluding taunt to self. And in an arena, if this character has trauma, apply trauma. 500% piercing, reducing the speed bar by 20%, and do the following actions to this character. Gain immunity in arena. If the primary target has safeguard, gain safeguard, fill speed bar by 20%, gain one charge, and enemies killed by this attack cannot be revived. Is unavoidable, cannot be blocked. All right, so screw you to anybody that has Weaver on defense as well. If you don't have any Apocalypse in your in your charge, this is going to be the character. So I guess you got to build up that Nova for this next event. All right, she does have an Awakened ability on the ultimate. ASIC does, Special does not, Ultimate does. On Arena Offense, you're going to apply Blind to the primary target and one random Spider-Verse enemy. I'm not sure how this Spider-Verse enemy... App, uh, goes along with that. I guess people are also going to be placing uh, this secret defender team on defense is what I'm guessing there. And passive. It is a wall of text, guys, so get ready. Nine lives. At the start of any match, bio enemies cannot spawn with speed up. And on spawn, gaining three charge, nine, de nine, de nine death proofs? Is that right? And immunity. In area, safeguard to self and all secret defender allies. Clear revive ones from all enemies. Oh yeah, this is a big screw you to Dormammu. Gaining a thousand extra focus for this action. So yeah, it is definitely going to get cleared. The enemy had revive once. Gain revive once. Do not place Dormammu on your arena defense or Black Cat. You're going to have to kill her or your, your, your AI is going to have to kill her twice. On any turn, if this character has five more charge, clear all negative effects from this character. Heal for 30% of this character's max health. Fill this character's speed bar by 30%. Man, I'm not finished yet. You're also going to gain a safeguard with a maximum of two and lose five charge and while this character has death proof. This character and all secret defender allies cannot have their speed bar reduced. Oh my goodness. All right, so maybe they are good on arena defense. For each death proof on this character, gain 10% armor, 10% chance to counter attack, 10% focus, 10% resistance, gaining 50% max health. Secret defenders and Spider-Man allies gain 50% more max health. And there is an awakening to this passive as well on arena offense. Enemies cannot spawn with death proof. All right, so I take that back. They're not going to be a great arena defense team because you're going to take away all the de all the death proofs only if you have this uh, passive awaken though. So that me you may this may be like Novas where you have to buy these and you're going to get these long time later. Lower the damage reduction of all enemies that do not have death proof by 15%. So hopefully this is not like the Nova awaken abilities and we could get these a little uh, sooner but i'm guessing that there are going to be just like the nova awaken abilities so it's going to be a long time before most players get this but now it is time for the data mines and of course thanks to msf.tools for all these data mines here and it talks about the other members of the secret defenders including spectrum here she is a secret defender a force her strengths arena and war offense what she does in arena applies additional damage for self and secret defender allies War offense bonuses provide healing for each turn to A-Force allies. Additional healing when using her special ability. Her speed bar cannot be reduced for A-Force allies or herself after her first turn. And how do we get her? Well, she's going to be available. Her shards are going to be available. It's Bright Light Orb. Limited time offers in the store, like every character. And an upcoming event. Curious to see what your guesses are on this upcoming event. All right, and that Bright Light Orb looks to be the character orb for Spectrum. 675 power cores for two more days, so... When is that going to happen? Uh, I guess sometime during this next season coming. So we got two events that I want to talk about, and we do have dates for these uh, on this. We have the Realm Raiders starting on July 31st, so just a few days, and Stellar Standout. This is an Alliance event, and this is also starting on July 31st. Let's go back to the Dynamites now that you know the timing of this. Realm Raiders, again, this is a solo event, three-day event, battling in war, earning raid credits, battling in raids with Bifrost characters, and you have a web milestone associated with this. So spending ISO 8 campaign energy, get milestone points for additional progress in the Realm Raiders milestone. And it looks like we could double dip with that ISO 8 energy because this Alliance event looks like it also is associated with spending energy off for a web milestone. So to get progress in the Stellar Standoff milestone, again, this is an Alliance milestone. Greedy of progress, winning, winning Cosmic Crucible with increased progress for winning with new warriors at higher gear tiers and earning a lie supplied or fragments from the godly gathering web milestone and free claims so the godly gathering web milestone is where you need to spend iso 8 energy to get more of these orb fragments so looks like both of these are going on at the same time and it's both the same currency if this data mine stands all right shh. it's the secret defenders this looks like this is about the blog post for tomorrow 
And this is where it looks like Sylvie is going to be the next month long character. There's been speculation on that for weeks, just based on the timing of it. It looks like at least if this data mine is correct, that is going to be confirmed here. So we have the secret defenders kit details. So it looks like we're getting the rest of the secret defenders kits tomorrow. TVA month long overview. The only other TVA character that has not been released for free to play players is Sylvie. So it looks like she is going to be the next month long milestone defender of Valhalla events. And that looks like it's going to be about this stellar standoff and this realm Raiders that we're going to get information on tomorrow. Also, the first start to mention poll winner is Nemesis, which is kind of unfortunate because Nemesis would just made farmable, but you don't have Nemesis at seven red stars, then you're going to get more shards for it and it's good. We also have some similar information on Photon and that is it for the data mines. Again, thanks to msf.tools for all this. And that is it for this video, guys. Hopefully this provides you some insight on what is coming. Hopefully you can start to prepare for the next arena meta that is arriving. Yes, build up your Nova. I guess you can build up some of your nowhere for uh, Black Cat because it's related to Arena and not just some random team. But that is it, guys. Let me know what your thoughts are on Black Cat. Are you going to build these secret defenders? I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. And if you want to check out my video that may be a little outdated, but most of the characters there I would not build. These are the characters that I would not recommend building right now based on a lot of the hype and stuff that's going on in the game. So check that video out if you want to see that. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, guys. And we delayed the apocalypse, the big boy apocalypse video from today because of this news. So that should be out tomorrow. I'll see you guys next time. Hulk fist bump. Thanks for watching, guys. Valley Blind out.